Okay, so I have a brand new technique that I'm going to show you uh, that allows me to make this and also this thing here. Okay, and so you've seen something like this before, but in fact this is a, is a, a very different design. It's more of a modular design than the one I showed last time. And so, uh, so I'm calling this technique uh, something like a lock and lock. Um, anyway, let me start. Um, I have a balloon with that much left on it. And so, uh, yeah, not much. Um, and I'm going to do that thing that, that's the truncated tetrahedron. And so essentially I almost start with a, a funny dog head, which is a small, uh, large, small, small, large. And I lock it off. Okay? And I, I stop there and I do another one. But notice it's, it looks like a, essentially a dog head. Or, or a, maybe an antler animal. Okay, same thing, same type of thing. You can use the same color if you like, doesn't matter. And you go small, uh, large, small, small, large, and boom. Exactly the same thing, except this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one. And this bubble here is going to be the thing that gets put into this one here. And so I push it into the groove and I pull the two small ones around. And so you see how I just pulled that thing through and then I just take this one here and I pull it through. And so now we end up with one of the corners, okay? And so now, I have one here, and I do it again. So now I do uh, one, and I have another bubble to fit in there. And then, now I've got to use this last part of the balloon to make a, the same thing. So it's one, uh, two small ones, another one back. And there's the other dog. Like, oh, <laughs> can't let go. Okay. And so what do I need to do now is I need to um, come over here to the other balloon. Have a segment, another segment here. Uh, push it in. So the same thing. I just push it around those two. And then I can lock this one off, make a little bubble here, and uh, pull it through. Another corner there, and now um, I'm going to have to come back to this one. So another bubble, another bubble, and then I lock that one in here, say, bring those two forward, take that, and pull it through. And then finally, one uh, large, small, uh, small, and finally a large. And now I just simply take those two and pull them around where I left them. And mini micro bubble, pull around. Okay, and so there it is, like a tetrahedron. And so you see these big gaps I left in here. And so that's like this one here. And so now what I did, I, I purposefully left these things sticky on the outside, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push them in. Push these little tetrahedrons in. And there I have a truncated tetrahedron. And so you can sort of see these um, octagons and triangles. Perhaps I chose not great colors, but anyway. But the same technique, you, what you can do is you can make that cube. And so here, the cube, those, those little pyramids are sitting here, the three. And I didn't push these on the inside, I just left them on the outside. But you know, technically if I wanted to, I could take these things and then push them inside as well um, and make a different shape, right? 
I guess this would be a, uh, it's going to be a little tight in the middle of this one because um, notice I didn't leave an, a gap there. Anyway, um, but just something to think about. Uh, brand new design. Uh, I'll probably make a few more things uh, and put them up, but enjoy. Cheers.